is very emotional for me to sit in Fez, Morocco. And to say Shalom Aleichem in Hebrew, the language of Abraham. It's the language of Jesus. It's the language of Moses. And it's a language that even Muhammad knew. Without hesitation, Yuval Ron accepted the invitation to play at the 2009 Fez Festival of World Sacred Music in Fez, Morocco. It's a religious city, it's a spiritual city, it's the place for the sacred music, and that is what I'm trying to do. The festival was inspired after the first Gulf War with the intention of showing that musical harmony can be louder than political differences. A message that deeply resonates with Yuval. When I grew up in Israel, and if I would hear Arabic, it would create fear, because that's how we are raised. After moving to the United States, Yuval found a Palestinian singer, Najwa Jabran. She's Arabic, I'm yeah, Jewish, and we would never meet in Israel, and we would never work together. And now we met in, uh, in America, and we became like brother and sister. Through my relationship with my singer, with Najwa, I transformed from feeling fear when I hear the language Arabic to feeling beauty. It breaks my heart. It is it's so sad. And I try to reach out to, to my people, to the Arabic people I know. All they know about Israelis is they saw Israeli aircraft coming and dropping a bomb on their family's house. And all, that's all they know. I try to bring them in through the music I do so they can experience what I'm experiencing. Not to, not to undermine anybody's experiences, whether they are painful experiences, but to shed light through the music that there is hope. In the more than week-long festival in a country that's 98% Muslim, sounds become increasingly unifying. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. From gospel, Algerian rock, to whirling dervishes. The music, the way this world, it's really, it's mystical, it's spiritual, it, it brings you in another reality, I would say. Among the people in this crowd are Africans, Europeans, Americans, a diverse background of people. But many here say the music on the stage is like a universal language. Yuval and his ensemble say it makes sense. You hear that, that, that glide down. That's the signature of the sound that they're all using. Strumming the oud, he shows us musical instruments play that universal language. The same scale is used to express deep emotions like love and sorrow. The Jews are using it to express that emotion, and the Muslims use it to express the same emotion. And if you just stop and you say, hey, my neighbor speaks the same musical language as I, I am. Maybe I'm more like him than we thought. Sima Mather says Morocco. Hey.